Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one going to show you how to correct perspective quickly and step by step. Here's the original shot. It's leaning in and it's got a little bit of a warpy, wobbly look to it. And here is the corrected shot up and down. Looks pretty good. Okay, how did I do it? Let's just start from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and grab the image that I used here. Drag and drop it. Create a new uh, document. Okay, good. There we go. First step now. Start your timer. We're going to go to filter and we're going to go to camera raw filter. We're going to correct this using camera raw. In particular, we're looking for the geometry option over here. You'll see here there's a whole bunch of different options where they use AI to do it. We're going to go ahead and select the last one called guided where we draw the line. So we're determining the perspective. And what it does is you can draw vertical and horizontal lines. So I'm going to draw a vertical line through this column just like this kind of going through the middle of it where I think the horizon, uh, the vertical line should be so that's the first one and then I'm gonna draw one for this one as well kind of right through the middle of the column and as soon as I let go it's going to go ahead and make some adjustments some big adjustments as you can see here also I'm gonna draw a horizontal line here just to make sure that I've got everything kind of on topic you can see here like the top of the church there um, that's a horizontal line looks like correct to me so now I'm gonna draw those three lines for this one you can draw a fourth one but it's not gonna do too much click on OK and we're almost there now you got two options from here one and this is the more commonly used one is you can just go ahead and grab the crop tool and then just crop the image in I can show you how to do that and just go crop and you just bring it in till you know something like that and then something like that and you've got the right image but again if you want the whole thing we can actually I hit command Z there I'm gonna show you how to use the uh, lasso tool here and we're gonna do some content aware fill so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a really simple selection around the white area here just like that make sure you got the O there and collect it and that one's gonna connect it part of me and then I'm gonna keep holding down the shift key so that you've got multiple so you can do multiple selections I'm gonna select there 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 and there and there again seeing that little O or zero so that they're both now connected now you go up to edit and then nothing happens because I got to be selected on the layer my bad edit content aware fill and now watch what happens nothing we got to brush in what we want the um, the content aware fill to consider so I'm gonna basically brush in this area here you don't really need to brush in the middle and then I'm gonna brush in around this area over here something like that and do keep in mind that it's possible that this was already pre-selected for you, but you can just click on the brush and add or subtract. If you want to subtract, you can just hold down the Alt, the Option key or the Alt key, and then you'll subtract the areas that you want. Anyways, brush it in like that. Now click on OK and watch. Now you got some changes there. Now I'm going to go Select, Deselect. Holy smokes, we fixed it. It's perfect. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.